Hi, uh, this tutorial I will cover uh, the difference between table model design pattern and the transaction script uh, design pattern. Uh, so before uh, you watch this video, please log into my channel and uh, watch table model design pattern and uh, transaction script uh, design pattern. Uh, I have created separate video uh, so the, where I explained uh, uh, how table model design pattern works and how transaction script uh, design pattern works. Okay, so first to watch that video and then come and watch uh, this video so that uh, uh, you can understand uh, uh, this video clearly. Okay, so first we will see the uh, transaction script uh, pattern, how it will uh, work. Okay, so the scenario is uh, booking the hotel room. Okay, so uh, first we will see how uh, how we have to define our classes using uh, transaction script uh, design pattern. So to explain this pattern, uh, in the right side uh, there are uh, three tables are there. I have taken this uh, three tables. Uh, hotel, uh, it has uh, hotel information, and uh, room, it has uh, room information like room number and uh, number of bedrooms and uh, booking uh, the particular hotel room is uh, booked or not so that information will be there in the uh, booking uh, table okay so the scenario is uh, booking the hotel room okay so as per the transaction script design pattern we have to define only one class okay uh, that class has uh, one method book room method okay so you have to just pass the room number so this method or this procedure will uh, take care of uh, booking the hotel room uh, so, so this this method uh, will in turn uh, communicate to uh, these three tables and uh, it will take care of uh, booking the uh, uh, room number so single class is responsible for uh, booking the hotel room uh, so you can see uh, so what it uh, what this method will do is uh, choose the hotel and uh, check uh, the availability of the room and if a room is available and it will calculate the price and uh, client has to pay the money and once uh, money is paid and it will just book the room and uh, mark this room as uh, booked and uh, it will just commit the transaction so this single class the single method is responsible for communicate to three different uh, database tables and uh, it will just book the uh, room okay now so as per uh, uh, transaction script design pattern we have to define only one class okay uh, but in case of uh, table model design pattern for each uh, table we have to define one class so hotel one class uh, one booking uh, table one booking class and one room table uh, we have a uh, room class so each class uh, this each uh, instance is responsible for communicating to the particular table but in case of transaction script one class will communicate to three tables but here it is not like that for each table one class will be there that class is or that instance is responsible for communicating to the uh, corresponding table okay and there will be some uh, common uh, class will be there right uh, room book so that is responsible for communicating to this uh, uh, different uh, classes uh, which in turn communicate to uh, uh, their corresponding uh, tables okay so uh, this class is responsible for uh, using hotel booking and room classes and uh, booking the uh, room in the hotel room so you can uh, see the difference between a table model and uh, uh, transaction script uh, design pattern okay so you can see like single class which is responsible for communicating to this uh, tables and uh, booking the hotel room but in here for each table one class is there okay and uh, this is the difference between table model design pattern and uh, transaction script uh, design pattern and uh, thanks for watching bye